Hello and welcome back to the Brandon Smith Rugby Channel. It certainly has been a while, but in this video today, we're going to be bringing you the top five Welsh rugby youngsters to watch in 2021. Here are five names that you need to keep an eye out throughout this year. If you do go on to enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe as we push towards a thousand subscribers, and comment down below if I've missed anyone that I should be keeping an eye out on. There you go, it's time for the video. Enjoy it. Peace. First up on the list is Calvin Tupelotu, who plays for the Scarlet, a young man with a great name and a fascinating backstory. He was born in Gwent in 2001 when his Tongan international father, Katy Tupelotu, was playing for Ebu Vale. Katy wanted to give his son a Welsh name as a way of showing how much he enjoyed being in the country. So he chose Calvin, which means blessing and love from God in Welsh. In 2005, the Tupelotu family moved back to Merseyside when back rower Catty joined New Brighton RFC when Cowan going on to study at Sedborough School. His barnstorming talent at number 8 was recognised by Newcastle, who handed him a spot in their academy. But now he is back in the land of his birth and the Scarlets have big hopes for the 6 foot 2 inches 19 stone forward. The next name on this list will be more familiar to many of you is Reuben Morgan Williams. He made his debut for the Ospreys on the opening day of the 2017-18 season, but has had to bide his time since then. Now though at 22, he's been given a fresh shot by new coach Toby Booth and has really responded, boding well for the future. He's just provided proof of his talent with a cracking solo try in the Boxing Day derby against Scarlets, throwing an audacious dummy at a ruck and winning 30 metres to the line. Blessed with a quick service, he has forged a nice partnership with fly-off Stephen Myler, a player of 14 years his senior. Heading to the Dragons now and it's time to have a look at Ben Fry. He's an abrasive flank who brings a real edge to proceedings. Back in August, he produced an in-your-face display against the Ospreys, making it clear he wasn't going to stand on ceremony versus the likes of Alwyn Jones and Justin Tiprick. If you're going to sport a peroxide blonde hairdo, you need to back it up with your performances and that's what this 22-year-old has been doing, putting himself about and making his presence felt whenever he gets the chance. No shrinking violet. Heading over to Pauka Scarlets now, let's take a look at Morgan Jones. He was born and raised in England, but qualifies for Wales through a Llanelli born grandfather and that could prove a real blessing because he's a sizeable talent in every sense. At 6 foot 7 inches, he's got the raw materials and has really been making his mark at lock in recent weeks, notably in the Champions Cup clash with Bath at the wreck. Called into action after just 8 minutes when Jake Ball was forced off following a clash of heads with Talupe Falatau, the 21-year-old Jones really rose to the occasion. He galloped around in the loose and put in 14 hits, capping his night work with a try saving tackle on Ben Spencer in the very last play to seal the win. He is one of a batch of promising young second rows on the scene which is good to see. Last but certainly not least, we're heading back to the Ospreys to take a look at Josh Thomas. The highly thought of young outside half will be relishing being around the likes of Brock James, Stephen Myler and James Hook, three men who know a fair bit about playing at 10. A product of Ponta de Lice RFC, the 20-year-old Thomas has a really good rugby brain and brings control with his king game and distribution, while also being a attacking threat with ball in hand, with his pace and footwork. He has represented Wales at under-18s and under-20s level. So there we go, that is the list of five youngsters to watch who are currently playing in Wales. Make sure, if you have enjoyed, to hit the subscribe button. We're pushing towards a 1,000 subscribers, so it would be great to hit that as soon as possible. This was actually written recently as an article so full credit to the guys who wrote this article i'm going to link it down below so go and check it out for i think there's about 21 players that you can check out for yourself i just picked out my top five anyway there's the video i'll see you soon here on brandon smith rugby thanks for watching subscribe and i'll see you later peace